Hi, my name is Sam, and uh, today we're going to be talking about adolescence and moral development. And I'm, in particular, I'll be talking about John Piaget and his theory on cognitive development. Hi, I'm Rob, and I'm going to be talking about Lawrence Kohlberg's six stages of moral development. Hi, I'm Matthew, and I'm going to bring you through the Heinz experiment and also through some facts and figures from our research. Hi, I'm Johnny, I'm going to be talking about Samuel Hall and Eric Kelly. Adolescence is defined as the period following the onset of puberty, during which a young person develops from a child into an adult. Moral development refers to the ways we distinguish right from wrong as we grow and mature. Very young children generally do not have the same level of moral development as adults. In Samuel Hall's theory of adolescence, he's determined that the age range for adolescence is 12 to 25 years and he describes the age of adolescence as storm and stress, which is a psychological theory that adolescence is a time of idealism, ambitiousness, rebellion, passion, suffering, as well as expressive feelings. His theory states that adolescence recapitulates the turbul turbulent transition period of time in human history. Eric Erickson believes that identity and role confusion occurs during the 12 to 18 years gap and that the transition from childhood to adulthood is the most important because the child has to learn the roles he will occupy as an adult and the adolescent will re-examine his identity and try and find out exactly who he or she is. It's around this time is when they form their own identity from the outcomes of their exploration and if they don't establish a role in society, it leads to voting. Jean Piaget was considered a key theorist in cognitive development. Piaget was born on August 9th in 1896 in Switzerland. Over the course of his later career in child psychology, he identified four stages of mental development that chronicled young people's journeys from basic object identification to highly abstract thought. Piaget's cognitive development. This stage occurs when the child is from zero to two years old. The children are at their sensory motor stage. This means children gather most of their information about the world using their senses. The main awareness associated with this stage is object permanence. This means infants do not understand that objects still exist when they cannot see them. The pre-operational stage. This occurs when the child is from 2 to 7 years old. This means that the child is able to carry out mental operations, for example imagining things or mentally reversing actions. The main thing that occurs in this stage is children start to engage in pretend play and they realise that words symbolise objects. The concrete operational stage. This occurs when the child is from 7 to 11 years old. In this phase, the child learns what conservation is. A test to see if a child is in the concrete operational stage is as follows. Get two glasses and put equal amount of water in each of the glasses. The child will realise that both of the glasses are filled with equal amounts of water. In front of the child, pour the water out of the equal glasses into a long skinny glass and into a short fat glass. Up until the concrete operational stage, a child will say that there is more water in the long skinny glass because it is higher. But however, a child in the concrete operational stage will be positively able to identify that there is an equal amount of water within the two glasses. The formal operational stage. This stage occurs when the child is 12 years and older. The child is able to reason about abstract concepts. They can think about consequences for their actions. Moral reasoning begins and this develops as they get older. Like Piaget, Kohlberg too developed his own theory of moral development. There are six stages of Kohlberg's moral development. They are classified into three groups, the pre-conventional, the conventional and the post-conventional. In each classification there are two stages. In the pre-conventional stage we see stages one and two. Each stage deals with punishment, obedience, individualism and exchange respectfully. Stage one shows the social perspective level of blind egotism while stage 2 shows instrumental egotism. Stages 3 and 4 fit under the conventional heading and shows people to have good interpersonal relationships and respect for social order. People recognise good and bad intentions and uphold the law with their actions and judgments. The post-conventional group consists of stages 5 and 6. In these stages we see people that share mutual respect as a universal principle. These people carry out their actions from the perceptions of others as they would if they encountered a scenario in another person's shoes. Heinz's Dilemma Heinz's wife is dying because of a special kind of cancer. There's only one drug that the doctors think might save her. It is a new formula which a pharmaceutical company in the same town has recently discovered. The drug is very expensive to produce, but the company is charging ten times the production cost. Heinz goes to everyone he knows to borrow money, but he can only collect half of what the drug costs. 
He tells the CEO of the company that his wife is dying and asks him to sell it for less so if he could pay at a later time. <laughs> but the CEO refuses. He can make no exceptions. The research had been very expensive and the company needs to turn in a profit. What should happen next? When asked in a national poll, almost three quarters of American adults used words suggesting moral shortcomings such as rude and irresponsible. Only 15% of adults within the same survey described adolescents positively. When pr participants were asked to identify the most serious problem confronting youth, American adults responded that it is the failure of adolescents to learn moral values. One reoccurring theme from our research is that adolescence is the foundation for adulthood. Matsuba and Walker suggest that by understanding and eventually controlling the influences acting on the adolescent, adult moral character development can be set on the correct path. We have observed from our studies that our surroundings, peers, friends and culture can hugely impact one's moral judgement. These may result in positive or negative outcomes depending on the extent to which they influence the adolescent's moral development.